of Genesis 8 verse 22, it says, as long as the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest time will not cease. In other words, there is one unbreakable law that governs this whole universe, this entire universe, the unbreakable law. Whatever you sow today, you will reap. Let me remind you of something. You might not reap where you sow, but you will surely reap. That's one thing I've known about harvest over time. You might not reap where you sow, but you must surely reap. So there are people that have no reason dying suddenly. Dishonor to a father is a dishonor to God because God says this is how it should be. You might not like your biological father. You might not like your biological mother. Whether you like them or not, it's not, that is your business. The Bible says honor them. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 1. If we have it displayed, this is the right thing to do. And there are people suffering today because in disobedience, they did something and their father said, you, it shall not be well with you. You say, go sit down. The word of your father, you know the meaning of father. Father means source of life. Father means source of life. So if you like, your mother is trying to deceive you against your father. What your father says in your life stands than what your mother says. I know many women don't like what I just said now. If you like, be talking to your children. Be making your children see your husband, their father some way. They will suffer. That's the truth. Mothers don't give identity. It is fathers that give identity. That's why your children are not bearing your son's name. They are bearing your husband's name. Can I hear them, somebody? Children, obey your parents in the Lord first. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. I'll tell you something. There are people that are suffering because they are under a grace, but they are not obedient to the grace. We don't know, when we talk about obedience, obedience has to do with total loyalty. Amen, somebody. He said, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. For example, every time you belong to a place, for example, oh, you can hear many messages from different people. Amen? You listen to it privately. And if you do the same thing and post it on your wall or your something, you know what? It, that is disobedience. Because you belong to a grace. What I bless you, let it bless you in the secret. But bringing it in the open where you are under a grace that speaks for you is a disobedience and it attracts the, the grace to work against you. Or you see somebody who rebels after a father and you are standing with that person. You know what happens? The Bible said there was a man, Superman, in the, in the government of David. You know that man? You know his name? Ahitophel. Powerful. That David considered him a man after his own equal. But you know something? He was only powerful because the grace upon the kingship of David provided a platform for him. And people don't even understand that there is what is called environmental anointing. Environmental grace. Let me show you. Scriptural. The Bible said in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 10, when Samuel came to the mountain of the Lord, when he descended, he met a group of, a group of prophets. And the Bible said, as soon as he got there, the spirit of the Lord came upon him. And he too began to prophesy. And as he prophesied, they said, he saw also among the prophets. But as soon as he left there, the grace left. Because it was environmental. Amen. You cannot post what is not in line of the commission of the grace you belong to. You cannot post a son that rebel. You post that person on your wall, on your picture. You are an enemy. Without knowing, these are spiritual principles that people break. Anybody I don't identify with spiritually, you identify with them, you are an enemy. Jesus said, he that is not for me is against me. Watch this. Go back to Ephesians chapter 6. He said, honor that father in the Lord. He said, this is right. That means to dishonor them is what is wrong. And there are many ways people have come into dishonor and brought 
some kind of wrath of Jehovah against them. Verse 2. Let's see verse 2. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment, with what? With promise. What is the promise? Verse 3. Okay, yeah, the promise is there. He said that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Listen, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. My dad is one of the most difficult person to deal with. Even in his, in his old age, he will hold on to what he's holding on, and you are on your own. Can I hear him? I allow him to do everything he wants to do. I still honor him. They just traveled a um, few weeks ago. Listen, when I finish eating, I go to the man and I say, thank you, sir. He say, uh -huh, thank you. God bless you. I go to my mother, thank you, man. Are you getting what I'm saying? Honor is honor. Whether your father, you like him, you don't like him. Whether your mother, you like him, you don't. Scriptures cannot be broken. Because for the fact that I am anointed does not give me right to dishonor my parents.